Hi, I'm Dr. Shima from Faculty of Field Environment. In a world filled with uncertainty, disaster can strike when we least expect them. But did you know that mental well-being play a crucial role in building community resilience? When faced with disasters, communities with a stronger level of mental well-being are able to have a stronger bond within the community. They are able to foster solidarity and also have a higher level of empathy for each other during challenging times. You see, Malaysia experiences frequent and severe flooding, especially during monsoon season in flood-prone areas. However, with climate change nowadays, places that are not supposed to experience flooding episodes are experiencing flooding. Now, this situation have caught both the government and also the affected communities off guard. Due to this emerging and worrying pattern, it highlights the need for us to understand what contributes to building community resilience. Now, we do that by studying the level of mental well-being of selected communities and assess their opinions towards the condition of their living environment. We sort of digitize participatory mapping where we develop a location-based map and the samples are able to input the data of their level of mental well-being and also their perceptions and opinions on their living environment. We are trying to see if there is a linkage between the two and how the relationship help us to build community resilience. Failure to understand the interconnections between people, place, and also community resilience can result in weak post-disaster recovery. Mapping pathways that explain this linkage enable us to understand the situation better. Consequently, spatially explicit information that houses both the physical features of a person's living environment and also their perceptions and opinions of the local population enable us or provide a rich basis for us to develop a sustainable land management strategy. In times of disaster, it is crucial for us to address the psychological impact that disaster have on individuals and also communities. By prioritizing mental well-being, we are able to not only help ourselves, but also help the people around us. So join us in building community resilience by prioritizing your mental well-being today. For collaboration opportunities, please find us in the Department of Urban and Regional Planning, Faculty of Build Environment, University Malaya. We'll see you there.